Hey, if you're watching this, you're really confused about the garage mod update that just happened and everyone's freaking out about it and I don't really understand it and I've tried to help everyone I can and I think I've understood it a little bit um, I've been talking to people on Skype about it so there is dev builds for developers or whatever and if as long as you're on the dev build you can connect to a dev server which you can make yourself I'll show I'll quickly go through how you can make your server a developer server and I'm assuming that if you can't connect it means other servers are or aren't developer and you are and you aren't um, I'll show you how you can opt in and out of it as well um, I didn't obviously find all this out myself it was another youtuber as well their link will be in the description that I found out from that's one of the problems it's also all just updates everywhere because if you update your server everyone's got to be updated there was some updates really confusing but I, my advice would be just to update the server using Steam TMD. I'll put all the stuff in the description. After this quick talking, I'll show you how to do what bits. And yeah, hope you find this video useful. Please don't start shouting me in the description. I've tried my best to explain. It's really complicated at the moment. Gary, you... No, Gary, you need to sort it out. And enjoy, and I hope we all get it working. So if you want to find out if your Gary's mod is using a development build, you can simply go onto Steam, go onto Library, Gary's Mod, right click, go on Properties, Betas, and then you can see here if it says None or Development Branch. I would advise you go with None because if it's really complicated if you choose to go with the development because it means you have to keep updating the server every time if it's your own server, obviously, and it means there won't be many servers you can connect to because that means they'll have to keep updating with you, and that would be really hard to find. So I would advise keeping it simple. So I'm going to show you how, firstly how to keep it simple. So I will have all the codes in the description you need, but with my guys on server folder, I go into Steam Pipe or where whatever really. Steam CMD is where it is. Then I just use this simple code I made into a fat file here. So Steam CMD .exe, log in anonymous, and then it will just update. Basically, it just updates your current folder where you've got your stuff. So mine's in Gary here because it it knows that it just updates it. All you got to do is just double click it, and it will just do its job. Really easy. So that's obviously the easy way. Um, like I said, that will be in the description. Just copy it to get to save it as a .bat file. All you need to do is just you'll have it copied. You do new. Um, text document, open it, paste the thingy, file, save as, all files, then just type run dot bat, save, and if you double click it, it will just do what it needs to do. Piece of cake. So if you want to do the more advanced version and go with a beta server, you have to do it manually. So you open Steam CMD. Okay, so you will do login anonymous. Da -da -da. Then you will do force install the then you'll choose where you want to do the file so I'm just going to quickly do this for the purpose of the tutorial I'll go users break this uh, desk top and I'll just do lol so that'll make a folder called lol um, then you're going to type in this command app underscore update 4020 turn on American then 4020 minus beta dev validate enter as you can see it has made a folder on my desktop called lol and it's downloading its stuff and that is where you'll find the server I wouldn't advise this as you need to it says on the web page the development branch is updated extremely regularly that is why it's hard to do because you have to keep doing it every single time 
and it's just too complicated so just stick with it make it easy and I wish you all the best if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments my Skype username will be in the description you can add me as well just say you're from the Gmod tutorial and I'll be very happy to help you and try my best as well so good luck and hopefully you won't be seeing me again because it should be sorted bye hey don't know if I added this in but do make sure to keep an eye on the description and comments in case I do add anything that I might have forgotten in the video because here I'll look stupid but then you'll look stupid if you didn't actually read it all fully because if people are going to be watching this video there will be a lot of talking going on about it so yeah there might always be extra information or stuff that I didn't know that I might learn so keep an eye out on that <laughs>